Hi, my name is Chris and I'm an ophthalmologist practicing at the National University Hospital in Singapore. In this video, I'll be sharing about how dry eye disease is treated. In other videos, I've answered questions about symptoms, causes and diagnosis of dry eye disease. Please click on the links below to view them. With this question, can I just use the drops I've purchased from the pharmacy to manage my dry eye disease? Lubricant eye drops, also known as artificial tears or tear replacement formulations, are an important treatment option for dry eye disease. There are different types of lubricant eye drops available that are formulated and optimized for different subtypes of dry disease. While these lubricant eye drops can temporarily relieve your symptoms, using them alone may not be sufficient for a significant proportion of patients. A range of treatment options exist and can be accessed following evaluation and recommendation by your eye doctor. After the consultation, your eye doctor may prescribe medications and recommend further interventions to manage your condition. These include in-office treatments to supplement your regular treatment, of which there are several options available at NUH. The presence of blepharitis or eyelid inflammation has been associated with dry eye disease. This condition has several subtypes. Anterior blepharitis affects the skin of the eyelid, the base of the lashes, and also the eyelash follicles, while posterior blepharitis affects the meibomian glands and gland openings. In patients with blepharitis, one treatment option is microblepharal exfoliation, which involves the use of an instrument with a rotating brush to clean the eyelid margins and eyelashes to remove any debris and accumulation of biofilm. Biofilm is a sticky film that's formed by bacteria as a barrier and may be impenetrable to both disinfectants and antibiotics. Posterior blepharitis refers to inflammation involving the posterior lid margin where the meibomian glands responsible for producing the oily component of the tear film is located. There are a variety of contributing factors to posterior blepharitis and the openings of these glands may also be obstructed. There may also be changes in the quality and composition of the meibom or oil with an increase in its melting point. Poor expressibility of meibom results in less reaching the surface of the eye which causes the tears to evaporate more quickly and cause dry eye symptoms. For the treatment of posterior blepharitis, a specially developed treatment that warms or melts the meibom and assists in its expression is available. This procedure involves applying an activator to the surface of the eyes, which consists of a cup and a lip warmer. So the activator autoregulates the heat to an optimal temperature to liquefy existing meibom, with gentle pulsation applied to the eyelids by the activator device thereafter to encourage its flow. We hope that this video helps you to better understand the treatment of dry eye disease. Check out the other videos or visit the NUH website and the links below to learn more about dry eye syndrome. Thank you and I wish you well.